I've been serving on the Wasatch County Conservation District for the last six years and we were presented with a problem six years ago. We had high phosphorus coming out of Main Creek Irrigation into Deer Creek Reservoir and that's what started the project. To solve the problem, uh, we, were at, we were stymied. We didn't know how to solve the problem. NRCS came in and uh, made the recommendations, did the studies, and uh, so that's the reason we went to the stream bank stabilization. And uh, time will tell. I would say that it solved a portion of the problem. What percentage? There's still a water testing, and they'll be able to you know, give us those results. Hopefully, it took care of the livestock. Well, you can see that it did because of the fence, the livestock on the stream. Well, the fence obviously takes away the, the access to the stream uh, from the, the cattle that are in here. But we uh, create a, a crossing that's uh, strategic in the, the middle of the, the property so cattle can come into the stream and water or they can cross from one side of the stream to the other side of the stream, which is going to let you uh, rotate your gra grazing and also keep the cattle out of the stream bed. We put in uh, 1,500 different plants plus willows. And if you look along these, uh, these banks that have been put in, this is uh, coconut fiber banks. You can see all kinds of willows that have been put in, and they probably put in, I would guess, well, more than a thousand. So we've taken care of the erosion out of this area. We've also created a wildlife habitat. We've also uh, created something <laughs> that's aesthetically pleasing. NRCS worked in conjunction with the Wasatch Conservation District to uh, develop a uh, coordinated resource management plan, essentially a watershed plan for this area, and we worked together with them and brought in staff to do a lot of the background survey work. As we went along, we started bringing in other partners, uh, some state agencies and nonprofit organizations to help us in the implementation phase of uh, working with the farmers and ranchers here, uh, bringing in cost share and grant money so we could install the projects and make a success of the, uh, the stream work. Primarily was one of our first concerns, but also we're working, looking at uh, some upland projects, uh, whether reseeding, fencing, uh, rotational grazing, uh, brush management, things that will improve the environment and hold the soil in place. You know, uh, I've been involved in agriculture ever since I could walk out the front door. And so I have a deep love for the ground and environment. And I like to see it used, but used for the, the betterment of the ground and the betterment of those that, that own it. That's our responsibility, to leave it in a better shape than, than, than we received it. But we also need to use it. It's a natural resource that needs to be used. And so uh, this ground's pretty sacred. And I want to take care of it. And so that's the reason I'm involved here with this project, because I can see the benefits. And I'm totally uh, enthusiastic about what we're going to see here in the next few years.